Hi, it's Captain Gemini here from AKAScriller.com, bringing you a little tutorial on how to use Odin to flash back to stock uh, and flash a custom ROM of uh, your choice onto your Vibrant. Okay, first of all, we're going to go to uh, the website here, enter site. Now, it doesn't matter if you're logged in or not. All you can you know get the stuff you need on the free side. You can go right here on the free side into the flashing station. Then uh, you come down here, click on Vibrant Flashing. Now, if you don't have the uh, uh, file, the update.zip to get into get you into Clockwork Mod Recovery, you'll download this one right here. You can probably see the arrow. You, you, you download it. If you download it on your computer, just make sure you copy it to the internal memory of your phone. That'll be the one, whenever you're looking at it, it'll be the one that says uh, 13 gigabytes max. Now all this other stuff I've already downloaded, but you'll need the uh, PIT file, this one right here, the PDA file, this one right here, and Odin. Okay, now let's see. Okay, first of all you're going to want to load up Odin and then you take your uh, your phone and you pop the uh, make sure it's not plugged in make sure it's not plugged into the computer or anything and you pop the battery out alright now you're gonna want to uh, plug the USB cable right here into the top of the phone and then you hold in the uh, both of the volume buttons but do not touch the uh, power button because that's going to mess it up and then you just uh, slide the battery back in and there you go you're in download mode okay now we're going to go to right here to uh, Odin now we click on the pit button right here load the uh, pit file then we click on PDA and load that one. That'll be that uh, last, probably the last file you download. And then you just hit start. And this is going to take uh, about maybe roughly three, four, maybe five minutes or something like that. We'll uh, sit here and uh, let it go so uh, you guys can uh, watch it. Feel free to uh, fast forward through any of this as you guys are watching it. It's probably boring, but uh, I'm letting y'all, you know, see this so you can get a general idea of how long it takes to uh, go through this process.
All right, now by now it's, you know, finalizing the process. And you should be seeing roughly the same things you see here on the phone above. And there you go. You are now officially back to stock. It just takes another minute or so and then once it once you see the uh, boot animation you can pop the uh, it's safe to pop the battery out. We'll do that here in a moment. Okay. There we go. Now it's safe to pop the uh take the battery out and all that jazz. All right. Now it's real easy after the fairly easy after this. Okay, you're gonna want to put the battery back in, obviously. Okay, now to get into recovery mode, it's almost the same thing as getting into download mode, except without the uh, USB cable. Now to do that, you just hold both of the volume buttons in, and then you push the power button, but you only hold it long enough until the phone comes on, then you let go, just like that but do not let go of the uh, volume buttons until you see uh, the uh, recovery screen right here okay now that update.zip that you downloaded earlier that's what you need to get into clockwork mod recovery you have to be sure you put that on the internal memory of your phone or else uh, it will not uh, work okay now use the uh, volume button right here to go down to reinstall packages now we're going to need to do that twice so here's time number one okay now we'll go do it one, uh, time number two all right, now I know it's real blurry and everything. I apologize for that because my webcam's a piece of junk. But, uh, you know, right now, this is where you want to uh, go and flash. This is the point of the uh, little tutorial where we're going to show you how to flash a custom ROM. Now we'll go uh, scroll down all the way down to uh, install zip from SD card, which is the fifth option down. And next, we'll go down to the second option, which should be choose zip from SD card. Now, at this point, you know, um, this is where you go and, you know, navigate to where you have your uh, ROM that you want downloaded. Me, I have it organized. I have it in a little folder called Dropbox. So I'm going to go up to there. I'm going to ROMs. Now me, I use, uh, I've use. i been using Project V for the last week or so because it's fast as hell and I thank the developers for that one so I'm going to go ahead and flash that one. And of course whenever you select it you, you want to tell it yes. Navigate to there. Hit the power button to select. Makes it much easier, huh, doesn't it? All right. Now after here, it's pretty much, you know, all systems go so we just go back uh, scroll down to uh, go back back to the main screen right up here and then you know by default it's selected so you just hit the power button to select it and reboot your system 
and there we go we're all we're all good you're all set well, this concludes our tutorial and uh have a nice night